these radioactive elements decay at a certain rate, so we want to figure this out. When I say rate, what unit are you thinking of that we've covered? Should be thinking kinetics. Uh, most of these are first order reactions, so actually everything I'm going to tell you now uh, is exactly the same as what you learned in the kinetics chapter. There's going to be nothing new right now, okay? So, uh, let's say we have A goes to products, whatever those products are. This is for a nuclear reaction, a radiation. Um, you know that the rate for first order is K times A. The only thing that's really going to be different is that uh, we use different variables in this chapter. So just so you're familiar with our text and the common sort of variables that are used in nuclear chemistry, I'll teach you them. Otherwise, the math is all the same. So uh, instead of that, rate is called A, activity. Different activity than uh, equilibrium activity, but a rate activity. Uh, the K is called a lambda. It's still the rate constant. It's just called lambda. And instead of concentration of A, you usually write like a capital N, meaning number of particles. So we're going to use different units also uh, in this rate section, because often we're not finding the concentration of uranium. I'm just going to give you like the number of particles of uranium or uh, the amount of radiation, which is like a disintegration of the number of particles per second. So if you vaguely remember the kinetics section, I told you uh, that when you use the integrated rate law, uh, and I'll write it here for the first order reaction, uh, that would be natural log of A over A naught equals negative KT. There's your first order reaction written in our original terms. If we write it with our new language, it'd be natural log of n over n naught equals minus lambda t. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you can use whatever variable system you prefer. That's irrelevant. But just so you can read the chapter, know that they use different variables. So you may remember when I told you before, these numbers right here, which is given in concentrations in kinetics chapters, can be really, most any units work. And so now we're using an N, hopefully that gets you in the mindset, any units are fine. And we're not going to use concentration units in this chapter. So it'll be more like number of atoms or a radiation type unit uh, is what you're going to see. Oh, and also let me write down the half-life formula. Half-life which you saw before is natural log 2 over k is now going to be natural log 2 over lambda. Uh, oops, I meant to write, which is 0 0.693 over lambda. Radiation is measured using a Geiger counter, uh, which is a little thing that makes clicking noises as uh, it, inside the Geiger counter is some sort of gas like argon. And as the argon gets ionized, it makes that clicking sound. Uh, so more radiation means more clicks. So if you work like in a, a national lab that has like an x-ray beam or a linear accelerator, you're wearing one of those radiation badges and you constantly have to measure yourself if you've got overexposed radiation. So if you walk with your badge through the Geiger counter and it's like blah, 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 click, click, you know, you're, you're about to die. <laughs> so, we had one time, uh, one of my people in my research group, who worked on x-ray beams, had to go fix something on the beam. And so, because usually we come back and we have no radiation counts whatsoever. But that one time that he did that, he got overexposed somehow. So, uh, he's still alive though, as far as I know. Now, units. A couple of units, and you'll see units as we go through. Uh, we'll sometimes use the CI unit, which stands for Curie. And that uh, is equal to 3.7 times 10 to the 10 disintegrations per second, uh, which uh, 
is equal to 3.7 times 10 to the 10 becquerel, BQ, which stands for the other scientists I mentioned earlier, B-E-C-Q-U-E-R-E-L. Okay, so those are some units you'll see pop up from time to time, time to time when we do these sorts of uh, calculations. 